What is up? In this tutorial we're going to be going over validation of drop down menus. So let's get started by creating a drop down menu. Go over here to the left and click on Spry Validation Select. I'm going to give it an ID of drop down one. And I'm going to give a label of make a selection. Say OK. And now it, we have created our spry select span and we have created a label for our select tags. So inside of our select tags, we're going to need to add some options. So click on list values and say option one, option one, option two. I'm going to add one more option. Three. There we go. And now you can see this created our options for us. And now we're going to need to add um, some validation to make sure that they are not selecting the wrong thing. So click inside of the span tag here, and it says "Do not allow blank values." So since we have the blank checkbox checked, what that means is "Do not allow a value that is blank." So now that we've created a value right here that is null, then on submit it should. Whoops. Go back to our regular form here. There we go. So what you can see is when I click submit, this option one, since it has a value of blank, is not allowed to be submitted. So another way that we can validate our drop down list menu is with an invalid value. So we could change this to a negative one. I'm going to change this to blank. And when we submit this form, it's going to be invalid if we have the blank option selected because the value is negative one. See? So if we choose any of these other ones, we can submit it. But if that if the one that is blank is chosen, then it won't allow us to submit it. So let's just recap uh, real quick. With our drop-down validation, we have two options. We have the invalid value or the blank value. And if you do not want a user to select a certain option, then you could either change it to a value that you make invalid in this case which is negative one or you can also change it to a value that is blank either way will work if you do not want the option to be submitted so that is it for the validation of a drop down select menu in the next tutorial we're going to be going over spry validation of a checkbox i mean not of a checkbox but of a password so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial